What are the upcoming challenges for the ID security industry once all these developed countries have rolled out their uh, electronic passports or their electronic ID schemes? Oh, that's uh, quite easy. We have to find the use cases for the people. So if you get an uh, electronic ID card, like here in Germany, you want to use it. And the industry must find the, the use cases for that. Um, there is good news and there is bad news. The good news is that in the first year we have more than 10, min, uh, 10 million of these uh, new uh, ID cards issued. The bad news is that just about 30% of them use the electronic identification uh, means and measures. What is the reason for that? Uh, first of all, the positive thing, obviously the people like a new card. Um, but um, they shouldn't only should not only like the form factor of that card. They only sh they also should like the um, electronic means of that card. Uh, why do why are they very reluctant uh, to uh, use it or to to ask for it? I think it's a standard question in our industry. There are no applications. There is no infrastructure. Uh, so first of all, we have to build up an infrastructure. Then you will find somebody who, built, who builds applications on that infrastructure, using that infrastructure. So I'm not very negative on the German Neuer Personal as uh, We have uh, to be, uh, we, we should strengthen our efforts or, in, or increase our efforts to market it, to market the electronic possibilities. Uh, and um, I hope that our new CBIT fair in March this year with uh, the general theme uh, managing trust will help to promote also the possibilities of the Neuer Personal as well. So I'm still a believer that that is uh, the right way. Uh, it should have gone um, faster. Well, I think um, in general, I would say uh, it's always a question on interoperability. Um, so if uh, we find security schemes based on electronic ID in, uh, in real virtual networks, so along supporting your life, um, there will be the question of interoperability and of application space. So the, um, the question, what can you do with it and how can your identity carry it on a, on a card? Um, how can that be managed in a way that you can trust it um, on applications that you want. And I think this is the question everybody will face. So the rollout simply of the ID function is first, it's very important to then link this to identity management in general. We've mentioned cloud computing a moment ago. I think we have the opportunity to make a trusted identity management a core of a different way of approaching electronic applications. I personally have a bit of a different perspective on that because we are in the advantage position today that we have a lot of these opportu of other opportunities of the t on the table, like cloud computing, like the smart grid opportunities. So we should now really concentrate on, on uh, leveraging on these opportunities and materialize of them. And I think if we, if we can, can manage to do so, I don't think that the industry has to fear the saturation of the ID market which is going to come at some point in time. I think it would be wrong to, to wait now for this to happen and then uh, see what the challenges is and what the reaction might be. I think the countermeasure is already on the table with these new opportunities. We just need to work on that. Well, it's not all about having such ID tokens and ID cards. You have to manage all the identities in the cloud, in uh, inter-clouds and so on. So identity management, access management on top of these ID cards is a major challenge. And secondly, it's not uh, all about persons being identified. In a future internet, there are thousands of objects being interconnected, talking together. They should be identified. So machine-to-machine -machine interaction and securing these machine-to-machine -machine interactions, sensor nodes and, and so on, that's a big challenge in future. Automotive, smart energy, smart city, smart something environments.